Okay, Gia Diva Karja. So Tammy Geary and Dan Shaw of a new div. Hug me over while you div my yaller Shaw. I gave you some homework to do to try and suss out the vocab here. Uh, look, could you own list uh, folklore with the help of the vocab list? So let's see how close she's got. On Gallic is the moon. I'm sure you sussed that out. Na Katrina ni Clarekeen. Is he ban rain na spare ha e? She is the queen of the skies. Okay, so spare is sky. Ban rain is a queen. Aliak na hiha, the beauty of the night. Realta runda, and she's a secret star. Realta being a star, you've seen that before with Realta sport, a sports star, Realta kyol, a pop star, and so on. Arihan roam that runs before me, ahead of me. Mukhara Erin Woher, my friend on the road. Er Taurus Sadurachadis, on a trip, on a journey. Sadurachadis, in the darkness. You know, Doricha is dark. A high anish fui kelch, her face is now, fui kelch, is now hidden. A gyo, in fog. Kyo is like mist or fog. Her farkas crin, over fields and trees, a etchly and she. She flies over fields and trees. So you're not talking parks there, but um, trees. Or parks, uh, fields rather than parks. Excaipu scalana, scattering um, shadows or reflections, kind of. Tanshir in a backland. The country is in her arms, in a backland, in a lava, must me and live. Muspervan, my beautiful fairy woman, Mukri Runda. My secret heart or my sweetheart. Now, Spervan is a funny word. Beautiful fairy woman. Um, in Irish mythology, Spervan refers to like the ideal vision of a woman who is almost like a kind of a um a spiritual entity or um you know a fairy type character. Okay, so that's on Gaelic. Now we're going to do a wee bit of uh, work on this. Now that you kind of have come to grips with it, hopefully a wee bit. Now, there's two things I want you to do, my rubber while you. The first of these, <clears throat> now, obviously, I want you to correct the rubber while you had, which was to try and translate the poem. Um, so fix that up with a panjara, gugus, kiartigi, kibe, rodatali, kiartu, agav. Then I want you to have a go at this fear, no bregak. So you have kuig rachis and shaw, five statements here. And I want you to tell me, now that you're a wee bit more familiar with the list of folklore, with the store fuckle, which of these are true and which of them are false? Fear, kiart, no bregach, mi kiart. Now bear in mind when you're sussing out if something is true or false, you don't have to be able to translate every word in the statement. See if it matches what's in the poem. If it does match, it must be true. Kahi gwil shafir. If it's different in some way, it must be bregak. So uh, exercise your common sense here. Ivera hain equals, ivera do equals will do me. Okay. Second thing I want you to do then, to get to grips with this here, Dan, is the lean the barney. So you have five wee statements and I need you to write them out in full, filling in the blanks wherever you think they belong. Now, Rocky my fridge and list of folklore and shaw. So spare how you might remember me saying is skies. Etchlian flies, referring to the, the moon flying with her. Spervan is like a beautiful vision of a woman or a fairy woman. Cheer is country and Rehan runs, the moon runs with her. Okay, so you have two exercises to do for me for tomorrow. You've got your one to five, true or false, and you've got your one to five um, gap filler. So for the first five, there's no need to write it out in full. Just one equals fear, two equals brego, who will do lovely. And then for these ones, will you write the sentences out in full, filling in the gaps wherever you think they belong? OK, right. Now, Tommy Gull, um, Coupler Odella, a wee new div, oh, have noti de. OK, now, first of all, a wee look here at the emotions. Now, mohu kain sedan. Now, kai me ve kinshig will shawl effect air on, um, air on guhan. OK, so you have ahas, happiness, brown, sorrow. Docus, hope. You might guess then that a docus is despair or hopelessness. Fuenyev is energy. Imni is worry or anxiety. Inu, you'll also see intus sometimes, is surprise or shock. Agla is fear. And glunder cree, glunder, shinfokalela or ahas. Okay, so glunder cree is like happiness of the heart, if you like. Now, that's a list of mahu kind you're going to come across when you're tackling filiacht, when you're tackling poetry. But there's not many of those that would apply here. Have a think about which ones would you pick out 
as being uh, kind of prominent in this particular poem. Ahas Bajor, Brown, Nidoy Lame, don't think so. Docus Hope, Eadocus Despair, Fwenyev Imni Inu. Maybe Inu because the poet is kind of in awe of Ungyalach and how beautiful the moon is. Agla, not so much. Blunder Cree, I would put down as relating to this poem because um, Ta and Phila Sasta, Ta Katrina Sasta, Gwil Shiabal to Shulags and Taurisa Yenu Lesh and Gyalach Markara di Masmi and Liv. She's happy to make this journey with the um, with the moon like a kind of a companion. Okay. Right, Rocky Mufrij could just in a note Danish. Now, Arish, bear with me. There we go. Okay. So, Sadan and Gyalak in this poem, Jen and Phila Kershi is her Gyalak. She describes the moon. Jer and Phila go will and Gyalak Gahali, and she says that it's Gahali and it's beautiful. Ni Hawaiian Shin, not just that. A crohian she alyak freshen it the moon creates beauty as well. So Gahalin is beautiful, alyak is beauty. Marhampla being she skypu skalin esaniha. So she says the the moon does be scattering um reflections or shadows in the night time. Jeran fella go will and gyalak kuchtak agus kusantak freshen. Poet says as well that the moon is powerful kuchtak agus kusantak and protective as well. Fayan she hein kusant she on gyalak. She gets protection from the moon. She feels like it's a companion to her on her journey. Tashi er Taurus in a sail. She's on a journey in her life. Agus a siam gyalaka real to Olish. We had real to earlier. Star Olish is info. And siam gyalak a real to Olish. The moon is um her star of information. Her informative star guiding her way. Fanon an gyalak tev lehi agoni or inaka lehi. So the moon always stays with her on Tamarfod. Few nor a vein she scamalak even when it's cloudy. Agus nak fejor an gyalak a ekail and you can't see an gyalak. Bein she an agoni even so it's there agoni on Tamarfod all the time. Okay. So shin scale and dine. That's the story or the narrative of the poem if you like. Now parson two is personification. Now you might have done this in English. Person two, personification is where an object is made into a kind of a character in the poem, which the moon is here. When an unfilla usa just parson two, sedan and gyalak, she makes use of personification. Is there just brila parson two? What that means is, na treha dena alua lilin rodnak will dena. Le rodnak will dena, gomaleshkil. <coughs> it's where you're giving kind of human traits to something that's not human, which of course the moon isn't. Jenna and Philip Parson to Erin Yalak. So the poet personifies the moon or turns it into a person, if you like. Jeron Phila Gurban Ian Yalak. And she refers to the moon as a ban, as a woman, as Colleen E. Big and chill. So Shin Parson to, that's an important feature of this poem, personification. Okay. Now, Eowina. Imagery. Now, again. Comparing to the likes of your English poetry, you will have come across imagery quite a bit, I would imagine. The pictures, you know, that the poem kind of springs to mind. Tagalior Ewana Glenacha Sedan on Gaelic. Tagalior Picture Jasa Sedan Shaw. There's a lot of lovely imagery or vivid imagery in this poem. So Mar Hampla, you have Banri and Nasperha, the Queen of the Skies. And there's your personification there as well. Capin and Phila Gawil and Gaelic Kusula Banrian. So the poet thinks that the, the moon is like a banri and like a queen residing over all um she's over in the sky. Tasolas Nagali Nisgilya, na ein solas elas asper, and the light of the moon is nisgilya is brighter na ein solasella than any other light in the sky. Tashi kuachtok powerful. Okay, then there's talk of a Taurus, er Taurus on a journey on a trip. Krohian and Phila Iwa the Ginya na picture. Iwa shin fokalela er picture. So she creates a picture of a person on Phila, er Taurus on a journey. Fui Hollis Nagali. Now Gyalak is the moon, but Solus Nagali is under the light of the moon. Tafunya vegin Gyalak. So the moon has an energy. Agus Mohin on Phila on Funyav Shah. And the poet really feels this energy. Gaka to Jayan on Phila, everywhere the poet goes. Lani on Gyalak. She knows that the moon will follow her. She knows she can depend on the moon to be there 
even when it's not so obvious if it's foggy or whatever. Okay, so Shin Air Taurus Musperavan. So I explained to you is that a Sparavan is kind of a vision of a woman, like the ideal um, spiritual female. Snashan Dante in the old poems way back in the day, is minic of eu chaktaruk special tag Sparavan. This vision of a woman would have a special message for the poet. Chaktaruk is a message. Chaktaruk special tag. Sadan so Shah here ta chakdurak to eki doing. She has a message for us doing. Jer and spare van lin ve larger. She's telling us to be larger, to be strong. Jer she lin our Doris hain a lanunch and she tells us to follow our Doris hain our own journey. Hone Shah yenu to do this. Kaihimu jar nyala kena aim shu. Um, er real to our real to runda. We have to find our nyala kena our own moon. Our own guiding light, if you like, our secret guiding light. Tan real shall the ji on him hain, and this star can be found within us. So it's kind of like our instinct or our um, intuitive feelings, um, our instincts. So shin musperavan. That's just an example of nahiawana ata sedan shaw. The imagery that's in the poem. Okay. Anish tamigiri arker kopla kesht hamplach. I'm looking to look at a couple of uh, sample questions and sample answers for agri samplica. So play ga him a sedan and galak mini dragra. Explain two themes in the poem and explain your answer. So what are the themes? What's going on here? Tagal your temi sedan and galak. There's a lot of themes. Play your ga him and sha two in particular. Every hen on gale either and galak agasandinia. The relationship between the moon and the person in the poem. August our Dorisail and our life's journey. Sedan so Shaw, plain and fella on Gale, either on Gallic, August and Dinya. So, play is to discuss. That'll feature a lot when you're on about poetry. The poet discusses plain and fella on Gale, the relationship between the moon and the person. Tan Gallic Kuachtach, the moon is powerful, Kuachtach. August Fayim, which Funyavuhi, and we get Funyav from her. We had this earlier. We get um, power or energy from her. It's real to Olish Ian Gallic. She is a guiding light, the moon. Being she on Igoni, on Tamarfad, she's always there. Gaka to Jamuj, and everywhere we go, be she on, you can depend on her to be there. Jaron Philalin, Goelamwij Goler er Taurus Sail. The poet tells us that we're all on a Taurus Sail, on a life's journey. Jershilin, our Doris Sail, Fein a Yenu, and she tells us to make our own Taurus Sail, our own life's journey. Everybody's on their own path. Taranyala Kane, no our railed Olish Fane, Ishji Onin. We have our own guiding light, our own moon within us all, Ishji Onin within ourselves. Kaihimuj, Ia Lanuj, and we have to follow it. We have to follow our instincts. Okay. Now, Shinna Tame Sadan. Uh, just a couple of notes of Marial Er on Illa, a Shgrave on Danshaw. It says, Kun de Wunakain the Katrina Niklerkin, Kosulum Hain. Is Phila Criticor Agus Lector Legaligi. So she is a poet. Philiac uh, is poetry. Phila is a poet. Criticor is a critic. Agus Lector, she's a lecturer in Irish. Ta Gal Yor Philiac the Eki, and she's written Gal Yor Philiac the two poetry books. Um, Crith Lunyer August and Virgin She. Now you don't have to know any great detail about her, just so you know where she comes from and what she's about. Now, okay, Tamajigiri Arkanish Erkesht Hamplach Ella. Another wee sample question and answer here. Um, let me make sure you're good and clear. And she. Bear with me, folks. That'll do. Okay, so on Kesht Hamplock, on Daphne and Dan and Gallaclat, on my lat and Dan Shaw, Torga Al the her, and when it comes to poetry and prose for that matter, you're always going to be expected to be able to express your opinion on it, you know, positive or negative. So here's your fragra sampluck. Here's some stuff that's nice and positive. We're gonna say we enjoy the poem. It's always easier to say that you enjoy it, because you can come up with more reasons. You know, it wouldn't be you wouldn't be studying it if it wasn't a decent poem. Tapnian and Dan and Gallic go more yum erga kush. Now you'll get away with saying it's even lum and Dan Shaw, but try and get used to using Tapnian. I enjoy the poem. Tapnian and Dan yum. I really enjoy it. Tapnian she go more yum erga kush for two causes, two reasons. Everhain on Ewa and Gallic, the image of the moon. 
agus ever a do an doka satala da sadan the hope that's in the poem er in gear dolshias firstly erdus is bral yoman ewa is even lomon picture than gyalak i love the picture of the moon coron an felishias er aliak na gyali she describes the beauty of the moon jerishi gor banri na spare ha e and she says that she is the queen of the skies crohian an gyalak aliak freshen but the moon as well as being beautiful she creates beauty too being she escape scal in a sinihe she does be scattering shadows at night it's very romantic kind of a um you know poetic vision of the moon erandara dolshias in the second place is my lamondoka satasadan sha i like the hope that's in it now you could change that for any emotion you might prefer to talk about glunder cree or um you know whatever the poet makes you feel personally tan phila er torus sinihe so if we went with dokus hope the poet is on a journey in the night nura ekan she solus nagyali when she sees the light of the moon smweeny and she are in solus ata in she hen she thinks about the light that's within her herself her guiding light is real to ola she and solus sha this is her guiding light token she fun you august trordi and this light gives her um energy and troar direction or guidance okay so that's an example of you know why you would like there's loads of things you could say about the poem in terms of its simplicity and things like that and we'll come back to that at a later date but that's a good example of a fragra sample now um another fragra sample this time the kesht is different not do yeah could you and mohukan is lajra so we had lajer earlier for strong on mohukan is lajra the strongest emotion in the poem sedan and gyalach what would we say that was tor faha wine led the ragra and you have to give one reason for your answer bear with me folks i know the sun's shining on this one like and there we go we bit better fragra sample Shilam gorave ahas on mohukan is lajra sadansha i think happiness is the biggest emotion in this poem on mohukan is lajra ta an fila er torus so she's on a journey agus ta an gyalak eg lonru anuas er hi eg solshu anuas er hi eg lonru shin gele gele er eg solshu the moon is shining down on her er torus ta ahas er hi ta shi sasta Martashi iglanunj abohar fein because she's following her own road, her own journey. Fein she kosinj agus fonyu von yalak. She gets kosinj protection agus fonyu of energy from the moon. Tan yalak kosul le maher. So the moon is a bit like a mother agus kauri and she leshanilla because she helps the poet. She guides her. Ta aha seranilla. Goella Gallic Fane Eki and she's happy that she has her Gallic Fane her very own moon to guide her. Lani she solus na Galli sha August era Taurus sail and she kind of commits to following the light of the moon while she's on her life's journey. So it's kind of metaphorical. Um you know the light of the moon isn't literally the moon that's in the sky shining on us but rather um your instincts your intuitive guiding light on your Taurus sail so rather than being a physical journey it's kind of like life's journey and your path through this life okay so shin and dan on gyalach um tasul agum ganyen and she rub bugni's kale the finam sha hopefully you understand it a wee bit better now august ta ober the chak marial or he there's work to come on it okay but your ober walia um for tonight as i say was flicking back the ways a shoe there the wee true or false is at the top of lahana ke the sakuig and then the gap fillers to be written out in full um rivado a clog amara clever dull so by two o'clock tomorrow tasulag and gwilshivalig gobra i hope you are all well keeping well and keeping safe okay togagiara amor slan